Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. I'm here today talking with Amber from Yahara Bay Distillers. Amber, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for coming in today. And we're here to talk about the, the Fitchrona Art Crawl and more detail than what we've done here on the show so far. Yeah. So this is the second year, yes, correct? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. So why don't you give us, tell us about it. Yeah, so uh, last year was our first art crawl that Yahara Bay Distillers um, hosted. Mm -hmm. This year we did more of a collaboration with the local chambers, so both the Fitchburg Chamber, the Verona Chamber, and the Verona Road Business Coalition. Um, we all came together and uh, wanted to bring it around for a second year because it was very popular. Mm -hmm. So the mission is really, if you boil it down, is to connect local businesses with the local fine art that we have in our area. As you know, Dane County is full of it. Yes. Um, and sometimes artists, you know, they struggle to find um, outlets to show their work and mm. businesses struggle to find fine art to put in their, their locations. Mm. So this kind of marries the two. And this year we have 18 local businesses located in both Fitchburg and Verona that are awesome. sponsoring an artist. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of businesses. Um, how many are in each each area? Talents? So we have 10 Fitchburg businesses mm -hmm. and eight Verona businesses. Um, again, all each sponsoring an artist. And the great thing about that is all the fees that we collected for businesses to participate will mm -hmm. go directly towards two grand prizes for artist winners during the live art competition that takes place on Saturday, March 23rd at Yahara Bay Distillers. That's awesome. Yeah. And how, how did the artists get in touch with, like how did, how do you pick the artists? So what we did, um, we do have a rotating gallery okay. in our venue. Mm -hmm. um, so really we took a look at the artists that had placed their art in our space mm -hmm. and we just kind of did a call to artists and then what we did is we compiled them all and once we had the businesses sign on we sent that list out to the businesses and then they then chose the artists that they wanted to sponsor. That's awesome mm -hmm. and so is there um, so what what can people do with, at these places? So what businesses do we have, I guess? So uh, we have a great uh, variety. So we have um, the Flying Hound Ale House mm -hmm. is participating. We have um, Hop House Brewing Company in Verona. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these places, like Liliana's Restaurant is doing a cocktail special, but they okay. also are doing free live jazz music on Friday and Saturday nights. Awesome. Um, so a lot of the restaurants are going to be featuring either a food or a drink special. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of the retail locations will be doing um, discounts, sales, um, you know, really just to kind of help drive that traffic in. Our goal is for uh, customers to come into the businesses, but also to then interact with the, the artists that are creating a live piece on Friday and Saturday. Okay. So why don't we talk about that? What's the live art competition? What's that part of it? Yeah. So that's going to run on Friday, March 22nd from mm -hmm. 5 until 8 p.m. and Saturday, March 23rd from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. So during those time frames, each business that's sponsoring an artist will have an artist creating a live piece. Awesome. And so the idea behind that is they're creating their piece, they're having customer engagement, people mm -hmm. are coming in to talk to them about what they do and how they do it and really to just share their passion of the arts. Yeah. Um, and then in turn, you know, giving highlights to the businesses that are participating. So what will happen is all artists that want to enter into the competition will bring their pieces to Yahara Bay Distillers by 4 p.m. on Saturday, March 23rd, okay. which then the um, judging would take place 4 to 6, and then we'll do a reception starting at 6.15 with awards, and then we'll have awesome. live music at 7.30 on Saturday. Oh, that sounds awesome. That sounds like a great time. So who is the, um, for the live artist, who is that? Spare Animals. Spare Animals. Uh, formerly known as Kai Anderson and the Pickups. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've heard of that band. Yeah, so yeah. Awesome. So they're a duo now. Um, and we're really excited. We don't typically do music on a Saturday, okay. um, but we really wanted to incorporate that this year with the reception following the awards. Mm -hmm. And where where's a good place for people to go to find you know a map of these businesses or where where all the locations are? So we have um, each business will have a poster hanging at their location. We did insert an ad and an insert in the Verona, Fitchburg, and um, Oregon papers, okay. so people can find those there. Otherwise, uh, as far as passports, mm -hmm. so the idea behind the passports is encourages people to business visit businesses. Okay. Um, those can be picked up and dropped off at Yahara 
Bay Distillers, uh, Hop House in Verona, and the Badger Prairie Needs Network. Okay. And why don't you explain the passport a little bit? Yeah, so uh, like I had mentioned, the passport really helps. It shows people what businesses are participating, yeah. but also if you as a participant visit at least five businesses and get mm-hmm. stamps, you Great. can enter in to win a local uh, prize basket. Awesome. And so we'll have about six of those. Um, one will be given away as a viewer's choice for an art piece at the reception, and then the other ones will be drawn for winners. Um, later that week. So you could potentially win one of those art pieces that have been made? So the art so the artist will um, the people that come to the reception mm-hmm. can vote for their favorite piece. Oh, and then the it. artist okay. with that piece then gets the basket. Oh that's cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you pick the your favorite artist through yep. through the whole thing. Exactly. Awesome. Yeah. Well the passports sound like a really good thing and uh, um, what else is going on as auxiliary events maybe at, at the separate businesses? Yeah, so Bella Domicile is going to be featuring a small vendor fair. Um, so they will have a few artists in addition to their live artists uh, mm-hmm. showcasing and selling their work. Um, Steve's on McKee will be doing a sampling that night. Um, it looks like it's from 4.30 to 6.30 on Friday, March 22nd. And then the Flying Hound will also do art trivia on Wednesday, March 20th, um, just to coincide with the art crawl that's yeah. taking place on Friday. Yeah, that's cool, art mm-hmm. trivia. That's yeah. going to be obscure, I'm sure, for some people. But Definitely. But that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. Awesome. Well, this sounds like a great event, a great couple of days. Uh, why don't you give Give us the info one more time on the times and places here. So the Fitcher Art Crawl will be taking place on Friday, March 22nd from 5 until 8 p.m., Saturday, March 23rd from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., with the awards ceremony starting around 6.15 and live music taking place at 7.30 at Yahara Bay Distillers. Awesome. This sounds like great, great time. Hopefully everyone comes out. I know it was big last year. We were out there filming. I'm sure we'll be out there again this year. So it sounds like a great time. Hopefully you have a really good event. Thank you so much. And we'll definitely be uh, keeping everyone up to date with this as we get closer and make sure everyone's informed about all these places. Sounds wonderful. All right. Well, thank you, Amber, for coming in. I really appreciate it. Yes, thank you for having me. And we'll see you probably next year. Sounds great. All right, thank you. And we'll be right back. This is Talking Fitchburg.